Good evening. Welcome to Eagle Sports. I'm Ginny Rigney. To start off, here's a brief recap of basketball games over Christmas break. The Lady Eagles played Southern Nazarene and lost 89-77, then beat Kansas Christian 99-21. Then they picked up a win against Eastern New Mexico, winning 97-96, and lost against Arkansas Fort Smith 98-85. Then for the men's team, they played Southwestern Christian, losing 79-77, then picked up a win against Maryville, 72-70. Against Midwestern State, they lost in overtime, 88-82. Then against Eastern New Mexico, OC won 72-62, then lost to Arkansas Fort Smith, 92-70. Then on Saturday, both teams traveled down to Austin, Texas to face off against St. Edwards. The men's team faced a number six ranked Hilltoppers, and the Eagles offense struggled throughout the entire game, only shooting 20 for 66 from the field and 6 for 27 from the three-point range and committed 19 turnovers. Despite their struggles, OC kept up with St. Edwards up until the very end, falling short in a 64-57 loss. Then for the Lady Eagles, for over three quarters, they held a tight game against the Hilltoppers. But after a rough fourth quarter, the Lady Eagles were outscored 31-12 and St. Edwards was able to come out with a 93-73 win over OC. Addie Cliff scored 35 points for the Lady Eagles and is now within 12 points of the Heartland Conference scoring record. Both teams play at home this Thursday at 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. The men and women's bowling team participated in the Southwest Intercollegiate Bowling Circuit Tournament this past weekend. The women's team finished fourth out of eight teams on Saturday and then did the same on Sunday. Freshman Taylor Ryan finished seventh and sophomore Melissa McConnell finished eighth in individuals out of a 65-woman field. And for the men's team, they had a similar team finish, placing fourth out of 15 teams. Josh Imhoff on Saturday earned his second individual win and finished third on Sunday out of a 126-player field. During OC's annual baseball banquet, the team got to hear first-hand advice and stories from the manager of the Houston Astros, A.J. Hinch, who won the 2017 World Series. Hinch gave advice to the Eagles by telling them what is most important to the team's success, preparation, and the importance of being ready for every situation. He also shared his experiences and stories with the team and discussed what it was like bringing a championship back to Houston after Hurricane Harvey. Hinch also mentioned how he enjoyed being back home in Oklahoma, where he graduated from Midwest City High School. And then on Tuesday, Oklahoma Christian Baseball team announced that they will be adding a former MLB star, Mickey Tettleton, to the, their coaching staff. Tettleton played 14 seasons of Major League Baseball as a catcher, right fielder, and first baseman. He also made the All-Star team twice.